It's another edition of Coffee with the Goose. Welcome. Thanks again for joining me. Yes, I'm the Goose. So glad uh, to have you on board one more time. We're going to talk boxing again. Some news that I'm not really sure it's news, but I'll tell you this much. It's irritating. I'm just so, I'm so frustrated by all this. But I got to calm down. Okay, got to have a little coffee. That'll look at my mind, right? Uh, my coffee is, you know, uh, very strong like my opinion. Got some creamer in there to make it sweet. Just like me. <clears throat> oh, and what's this? Oh, well, with the passing of the great uh, Rush Limbaugh, uh, the golden EIB microphone, remember? Okay. Uh, no, I didn't take it. I didn't steal it from the studio. I got this uh, brand spanking new. Okay, from the pawn shop. But it was brand... No, no, I'm kidding. It's new. It's new. But uh, hey, we're, we're stepping up in the world, right? Very excited. And uh, very excited to bring you another show. What's the latest in the welterweight boxing world what's happening with manny pacquiao has he chosen an opponent yet no and we're getting more of the same aren't we and you know i'm not uh, upset at pacquiao even though we had a show recently where i was uh, uh telling manny pacquiao quit teasing us it's really not him that's teasing us it's all these other fighters uh, first it was conor mcgregor the uh, ufc star he was and he's good at tooting his own horn. And, and good for him. He, he's a champion. Uh, and he fought. Floyd Mayweather fought. Uh, and he was talking for months about how he was going to fight Manny Pacquiao. And we even talked about it here. Because, you know, that's all we had. Uh, but, of course, with his uh, crashing to the canvas defeat recently, uh, he's not going to fight Pacquiao. Of course, that was just going to be a, uh, an exhibition anyhow. Then it was Ryan Garcia, you know, the uh, lightweight, uh, great fighter, undefeated, young guy. Uh, but he's been talking, um, you know, up this way and down the other. Where I'm tired of hearing from Ryan Garcia. We even had a couple of shows about what it would like, what it would be like if he fought Manny Pacquiao. I tried to make it as positive as I could, but no, that's not going to happen either. Pacquiao is going to send him into La La Land in like two rounds. Let's be honest. That, that one's not going to happen. Then it was uh, Terrence Crawford. Now, that's a real fight. That's what we're interested in. That's what we can get excited about. Because he's a real, undefeated, in his prime, welterweight champion. But we still haven't heard anything. Mostly because uh, they're not fighting under the same banner. Uh, Terrence Crawford, as you remember, fights for top rank, or Bob Arum. Manny Pacquiao's former promoter. Uh, but we haven't heard anything there yet. I think they're still negotiating. So here's the latest. And this, to me, really doesn't mean much. But I got to talk about it because everybody else is talking about it. It's Mikey Garcia again. Now, before I go any further talking about Mikey Garcia, I like him. Okay? Great fighter, great champion, four division champion, I think. He's only lost once. And that was uh, to Errol Spence Jr. here a year or a year and a half ago. Um, and then he recently uh, fought again in the uh, welterweight ranks and uh, uh, beat Jesse Vargas. Remember, Pacquiao beat him a couple of years ago, too. Jesse Vargas, legit, great fighter. Uh, and uh, Mikey Garcia defeated him. And here's where it gets kind of weird. Mikey Garcia is the current... Uh, WBC Diamond Welterweight Champion of the World. Diamond. You know, Jude and I were joking about this earlier. What's, what's a diamond champ? It's like he's at the casino. He's getting chips now. Or he's, uh, you know, he's uh, getting a, a nice hotel room. Oh, you're a diamond member now. You know, it means nothing. The, the uh, welterweight, and for that matter, uh, all uh, uh, of the weight classes in boxing are so watered down, it's ridiculous. We're already dealing with four belts, legitimate belts. Uh, but the, the diamond welterweight, <laughs> it's nothing. It's just, it's just show. But I like Mikey Garcia, okay? Who is Mikey Garcia, anyhow? He is uh, um, Miguel Angel Garcia the younger brother of the great, former great boxer and current Hall of Fame trainer, Robert Garcia. Uh, so Mikey Garcia has, uh, there's great lineage there. He is 33 years old. Uh, again, he, I believe, was a four division champion. 
Uh, he really reigned over the light welterweight division for a while and then stepped up. I think maybe he had one welterweight fight before that. But at any rate, he's not a true welterweight. He fought uh, uh, Errol Spence Jr. And to Mikey Garcia's credit, he didn't get knocked out. But he was schooled horribly. Uh, it's, Spence just teed off on him. Didn't knock him out. Didn't knock him down. Didn't really hurt him. But uh, embarrassed him. Uh, schooled him. Manhandled him. It, it wasn't even close. I don't even think Mikey Garcia won uh, a single round in that 12-round fight. But uh, props to him for taking on one of the top dogs in Errol Spence Jr. And again, he uh, took another step up recently and uh, defeated Jesse Vargas. So uh, Mikey Garcia is a legitimate championship fighter. He's 40 and 1 with 30 knockouts. Now, we have been hearing from him the last couple of days about how he and Pacquiao, their different camps, have been negotiating. And it's just a matter of uh, a day or two. They're in the final uh, steps of negotiating and they'll be signing the dotted line very soon and it's going to be a great fight. He says, I'm going to fight a legend now, right? Uh, you know, with no disrespect to Mikey, we don't want to see it. Okay. And it's, and I can, I'm going to, I don't make many predictions here, but I'm going to predict this is not going to happen because nobody wants to see it. I don't want, do you want to see it? I don't think you want, uh, Jude, do you want to see this? Fight? Yeah. Maybe, uh, free, but I don't want to shell out dollars to watch Manny Pacquiao just dance all over and beat the snot out of Mikey Garcia. And with all respect to Garcia and his fans, you know that's what's going to happen. Pacquiao's way too quick, uh, way too fast on his feet, way too fa fast with his hands, and way too strong. And more skills, more experience. It's just, it's not going to be fair. And it's not going to happen because nobody cares. And we've talked about this before. That's why certain fights don't happen as much as some fights that we want to see happen. Uh, up until now, we haven't seen uh, uh, Pacquiao fight Terrence Crawford because Crawford just doesn't, he's not a big drawing power. Not, not you know, any fault of his own. He's undefeated. He's a, you know, great uh, welterweight champion, but it's the dollars. That's what matters. Uh, and of course, to to us fans, doesn't really matter that way, but uh, with the promoters, those are the people, it's a business, right? That's that's what it's all about. It's it's who's the money, who's the, you know, the, the big cash cow. Of course, Pacquiao is, and we heard recently that he was, uh, he demanded $40 million to fight Terrence Crawford, and Crawford would get $10 million, which is way above anything he's ever earned before. And yes, Pacquiao will get 40 million no matter who he fights because he's Manny Pacquiao. It's all about the money. But Mikey Garcia, uh, as great as he is, does not have that drawing power. Uh, who's going to watch a pay per view battle with Mikey Garcia against Manny Pacquiao? I, I don't think the numbers are there. And again, Mikey has been talking about it. He's the one that came out and said on YouTube, uh, oh, yeah, we're in the final stages of negotiations. We're going to have an announcement here very soon. I'm going to fight a legend. It's very exciting. Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, Mikey. And uh, and to you fellow YouTubers, uh, with all respect to you guys, too, you guys aren't even questioning it. You're just echoing what Mikey Garcia said. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to happen. Oh, for sure. It's, it's a done deal. It's not. You guys know better. You're just, you're just out for more viewers. We're all out for viewers, right? Uh, I, that's what I'm out for too, but I, I also want to keep my self-respect. And I'm not just going to be uh, echoing, um, you know, what Mikey Garcia says or, uh, or uh, 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 the other Garcia, Ryan, or, or anybody else. Uh, you know, if I think it's, it's bunk, then I'm going to tell you. And in this case, it's bunk. Mikey Garcia... Uh, will not fight Manny Pacquiao. Not that he isn't a great fighter, but he just, he does, he's not at that level. Who is? No, hardly anybody. Uh, maybe Errol Spence Jr., maybe uh, Terrence Crawford, but I, I don't know of anybody else. Respect to Keith Thurman for fighting Pacquiao uh, a year and a half ago, and he got beat up pretty bad, undefeated fighter in his prime. 
Um, but you know, the the there's it's slim pickings out there, and it's not just anybody Pacquiao's gonna fight, like <clears throat> Floyd, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. He's not like that. He has respect. He has self-respect. He has respect for the game. He has respect for you, the fans, the people that pay the bills and pay his bills. He, uh, you know, he's he's a legend. He's an icon for a reason, not because he is just out for the money and flashes bills all over the place like <laughs> Floyd. I don't want to pick on Floyd, but he's not fake, or as they say in the Philippines, he's not plastic plastic, right? Uh, so. Put it to rest, and if and if it happens, I'm going to come groveling back to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm such a fool. But that's not going to happen. That Mikey Garcia is not going to fight Manny Pacquiao any more than Ryan Garcia is going to fight him or Conor McGregor is going to fight him. I think it's going to be um, Terrence Crawford, and I think we're going to. I hope, Lord, I hope we're going to hear soon because I'm really tired of this, and I think you guys are too. Anyhow. That's all I have to uh, say about this for now. Uh, thank you again, guys, for joining me. That's it for this edition of Coffee with a Goose. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll keep the mic around for a while longer, right? It's just, it just it's, makes me look better, right? <laughs> I need all the help I can get. Anyhow, thanks for watching. You folks who subscribe, many, many thanks. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, we uh, appreciate all of it. And uh, my partner, my, my great producer, Jude, and I uh, love doing the show, and we've got many more shows to come. All right, you guys take care.